Hello everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please get the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. In Thursday's Emmerdale episode, Belle Dingle's marriage to Tom King took a very bad turn when she revealed to her husband that they had aborted their child. Tom got electrocuted in a barn and was sent to the hospital at the beginning of this week. Belle had begun to accept that Tom was abusing her while all of this was going on. When she learned of Tom's injury, she had intended to take a brief vacation and see her father in Scotland. In tonight's ITV soap opera episode, Belle was still hatching her plan to go to Scotland. However, when she heard a tap, she was taken aback to see Jimmy, Nick Miles, and Tom in a wheelchair when she opened the front door. After Jimmy departed, Tom focused on Belle's psychological well-being. After Belle told him about her loss, he wanted to play on her feelings rather than discuss his accident or the fact that he left the hospital too soon. Belle revealed to Tom last week that their child had died. She had no choice but to lie since she knew Tom would lose it if he discovered it was truly an abortion. Belle's feelings grew worse the more Tom questioned her. Charity then interrupted the tense talk to see how Tom was doing. After Tom disclosed Belle's miscarriage and said Charity felt ashamed because her body was unable to bear their child, Charity departed Dale Head. Charity was upset that Belle remained silent throughout the entire exchange, as it seemed that she felt that way. Charity was conversing with Noah in the back room of the tavern as Tom and Belle were still talking. Charity expressed doubts about Tom, stating that he must be concealing something as nobody is ever as flawless as him. Tom had pushed a broken Belle too far back at their house. When she finally admitted that she had an abortion, Tom was understandably furious. Belle was heartbroken by Tom's verbal attacks because she was unable to physically harm him because he was in a wheelchair. Tom looked through a window a short while later, after he had spoken to Carrie outside, and saw Belle sobbing on the floor, holding Piper. His eyes were nasty. Once more, the scheme to place all the responsibility on Belle was succeeding. Belle pleaded with Tom not to abandon her inside. Tom loved every minute of it, and she claimed she blames herself for what happened and will always be sorry. Tom assured Belle that he loves her too much and that he will never leave her. We spotted Tom grinning as a relieved Belle gave her partner a hug. Absolutely horrifying. Fans of Emmerdale may witness a dramatic farewell for the villainous Tom King on the ITV soap opera as his demise appears certain. Producer Laura Shaw of the soap opera has disclosed the anticipated conclusion date for the coercive control narrative starring Belle Dingle and Tom King. With Tom's menacing and coercive actions become violent, Belle finds herself imprisoned in her violent marriage. With Tom discovering Belle's deception about her abortion in upcoming episodes, things are only going to get worse for her Laura has confirmed that things will escalate further. Laura further disclosed that the plot will continue for several months after this. Actor James Chase has hinted that an exit will probably occur, raising concerns over when Tom will be revealed and whether he will have his commitments. In response to a question about the character's shelf life, he said Tom had to be discovered and punished. However, Laura, the producer, may have hinted at Tom's departure date and the eventual resolution of the plot. One of the soap opera's major Christmas storylines and the drama scheduled to air throughout the holiday season may have been exposed by Laura's clues. We said right from the beginning we wanted to tell the story as truthfully and authentically as we can, she said to the Mirror and other media. This is something that takes a long time to end, it doesn't end in a few weeks. The plot will continue till the conclusion of the current year. Viewers can anticipate. Saying the end of the year suggests that Tom's actions will probably be scrutinized over the holidays. Laura might have been talking about his leaving sequences or possibly the point at which Belle starts to accept her mistreatment, which means Tom might be discovered far sooner. 
However, given that she stated that the plot will continue until the end of the year, it's possible that Tom may remain on screen until then. This might indicate that a Christmas exit or tense sequences involving the two on this day are in the works. Regarding Tom getting his commitments, James stated, I think it has to happen because that's what he deserves. He is unable to get away with it. I'm not sure how it will finish to for what degree. Belle and the audience both require justice for what has happened to her. Either she prevails in the end or he does not. Regarding his family farm, Kelvin Fletcher has made a significant revelation about which he is incredibly excited. The Strictly Come Dancing star and former Emmerdale actor, along with his wife Liz and their four young children, operate a 120-acre farm. The Fletcher family has been running the functioning farm in the Peak District National Park since 2022. The family started filming Fletcher's Family Farm, a popular ITV1 and ITVB series, last year to chronicle their rural existence. The popular television show chronicled the life of a farm family tending to an injured ewe during the hectic lambing season in Winkle, a village close to Macclesfield in Cheshire. It has been revealed that Fletcher's family farm will return to our televisions later this year for a second series, after the show's success. The show, which is scheduled to air in the winter, will chronicle the Fletcher's ongoing farming endeavors. According to ITV, the upcoming 10-part series will have additional adventures as Kelvin welcomes a herd of pregnant cows to the farm. The family expands their livestock and they deal with the difficult and emotional lambing season. Regarding the news, Kelvin stated, we're incredibly excited to return to filming for the second series of Fletcher's Family Farm. Our viewers' response has been incredibly inspiring and heartwarming. It's a true honor to welcome the viewers back to our farm as we continue on this journey. Liz continued, We are thrilled to have Calvin, Liz, and the family return for a second series, stated Leon Clark, Assistant Commissioner for Entertainment and Daytime at ITV. The previous season was very enlightening and engaging for home viewers, in addition to being a thrilling series. We are eager for them to all return to our televisions. The Fletcher's Farm is only open to the public on specific days and occasions because it is a private functioning farm. Open days have previously been hosted by Kelvin and Liz, usually in the spring, summer, and around Christmas. The family started filming Fletcher's Family Farm, a popular ITV1 and ITVE series, last year to chronicle their rural existence. The popular television show chronicled the life of a farm family tending to an injured ewe during the hectic lambing season in Winkle, a village close to Macclesfield in Cheshire. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.